Dude. Bro! No, there's turn no. around. <laughs> turn turn around. Some water? We are in the country yet again, buying another car. Welcome back to another video, you guys. What can I say? We're buying another car today. Should I say it? I mean, it's not that big of a surprise. It's a Mitsubishi Eclipse. The one that Tyree Skipson had in Too Fast, Too Furious. Um, it's not the newest one, but it's not the original one. It's the one right there in the middle. Oh, it's obviously not for any of us. It's not for my little sister this time, but it's for my older sister. Oh. We are going to be surprising her with it because she is actually in Europe right now. And she doesn't know that I'm about to sell her old car. So, so she has right now a Ford, like a 2010 Ford Fusion yeah. SE. We just kind of want to like give her something that's fun that she can look yeah. forward to driving. She sees us drive all of our fun cars and she's like, I want to join too. I don't know exactly what's wrong with it. We got it for fairly cheap, $3,500. It is a four sale, so I guess that also is the reason why it's driving on the wrong side of the road. But we are gonna be modifying it and fixing it while she's in Europe, because she's gonna be in Europe for like three and a half weeks. So About that gives us enough time to work on it. This is basically a pimp my ride show, I guess. Like, we're gonna be buying like a piece of crap car it's not like totally bad, but like it's definitely not ideal. And we're gonna be kind of remodeling it and customizing it to our liking and hope that she likes it. Hopefully she likes it. Like we have to make, we'll put a warning, a, I don't know what you wanna call it, a trigger warning, some type of warning that this is gonna be a girly car, whether you guys like it or not, because Tanya, my older sister, she's just a girly girl. She's very so. girly, she likes pink. <laughs> She likes a lot of pink. Yeah, we're still gonna make it look good, but it's gonna have pink. Yeah. Yeah. You guys remember from last time, that's also what we went to the country to buy our Dodge Challenger. The RT. That we yeah. Hellcat swapped. <laughs> yeah. But we're back here in the country, four minutes until we arrive at the house or wherever we're meeting. But we'll catch you guys when we get there. Hey Grant, you just cleaned the car yesterday. Jesus. Fully detailed the frontier and look where we're at now. The hours I spent cleaning the wheels. <laughs> Now the tire shine, all the dirt's gonna get stuck on the tire shine. Okay, may I just say, why is this dirt road smoother than Michigan paved roads? I swear. This is literally a better road than what we have in Detroit. Every once in a while, I still think about the guy that we bought the Dodge Challenger from, because I don't think he was ever expecting a Hellcat Red Eye swap. That's I true. I wonder like what he thinks. Is it another barn? It is! It's another barn! No way. What is going on? <laughs> Hope they don't pull us. Bro, what the heck? Oh wait, am I at the right one? Oh, it's the one next. This oh, idiot. It. <laughs> oh my god. Somebody's gonna come through that front door. I'd love to buy that Impala though. Yeah, you love Impalas. Okay, this is the right one. Oh. Where are we going? <laughs> what? Dude. Bro. No, turn no around. Way. Turn it. Turn around. There's turn no it way. around. <laughs> Oh Freddy Krueger's about to so, come through here. I'm so happy I brought the Frontier. <laughs> Dude. Yo. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, there it is. I see it. I oh, see so it. It's garage. They put it in the garage. I don't want to be rude and like record them in their house and stuff. So we will get back to you guys when we get the car pulled out and have it taken on a test drive. But once we purchase the car and we're driving away, we will pull over and check it out and show you guys. Do you ring the bell or do we just like... Can you go? <laughs> Just honk. Go. Here. No, no, no. No. <laughs> there she is, you guys. Oh my gosh. We have purchased the Eclipse. How do I get out of here? And here we are, you guys. Christina took it out on a test drive. Bro, what the? What the? And as you can see, one of the tail lights is stuck on. You can see it's the left tail light, it's stuck on. So we definitely gotta work that out. I trust Christina's input uh, on the test drive. I didn't go with her, but I trust that she checked the things she needed to check and hope everything went well. Girls taking selfies. Oh my gosh. She about to drive off. <laughs> What are you doing? Do you need some water? <laughs> Let's hear it. It's quiet. Man, this road is dusty. See, the thing is, I know having a brake light out is illegal. 
but what about is having a brake light on? How would that? What is this girl doing? So She's driving with. Good. The handling brings so much satisfaction, so much happiness. What are you doing? Why are you driving? Get closer. You were driving with the top off. Go, go, go. It was more cumbersome. It was more. In front of this pickup truck. We just we have a GT500. That do be pretty though. No way. They're about to race. They're about to race to a 50 year old. Did you win? Huh? Did you win? Huh? Did you win? Yeah. <laughs> How do you like it so far? Dude, it's like a four cylinder version of my 350. Oh. That's the best way I can relate it to. A four cylinder version of the 350. Let's go. Ah. Uh, How, bro? Ah. Uh, throw, throw it, throw it. Damn. <laughs> Here she is. We can take a closer look at her. I know it looks like a catfish right now. It and, literally is. But more importantly, it does have potential, and that's what we look for in cars. So. You can see paint is starting to fade and of course the whole car could use a detailing, especially the interior. You can just see how dirty the back seats are and just how roughed up everything is on this car. Um, and this is the GS Spider. Uh, there are many different trim levels. There is the GS, which are inline fours, GT and the GTS, which are V6s. Um, and this is the Spider, meaning it's a convertible and it is an automatic. I don't know, this one, it was kind of just an impulsive decision and we found it on Facebook this morning. We're like, let's just go get it. Look at the gas cap. Look at it. It, it feels like literally like I can snap it with my fingers, but it looks high quality. It looks like it's metal. I'm six foot four and this comes up to right here on me. So that's about six feet. That's a tall antenna, man. I must say, these are some of the clearest headlights I have ever seen in my entire life. For being so old, I think they must have been replaced or something. There's no way that they haven't faded that much. Anyways, you guys, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment, you know the whole deal. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.